Welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim, and today I've got a wild bunny story for you. Literally. Oh, he just loves that. Look at that. Look his ears come up. Oh, he's like, oh, yes. Yes. Well, we'll give you some. Oh, hey, did you see his leg twitch? He's like, come on. Do it again. Do it again. Last winter, during the polar vortex, we had a little baby kit get out whenever I was uh, uh, doing the ch uh, rabbit chores. And it stayed out overnight during the ice storm and the polar vortex. It was so, so cold. But we found it the next day and it lived. And then, of course, it grew up, went into the grow out uh, hutch, but it has escaped. You guys have seen the video. Uh, it has escaped. It's living somewhere here out on the ridge. And uh, we haven't seen it since. Um, we call it lucky. It was lucky to survive overnight during the polar vortex. Hadn't been weaned yet. Hadn't been weaned yet. Um, grew up, grow out, you know, 11, 12 weeks and uh, escaped from the, the big hutch. Uh, I guess I didn't lock it. Came back up here. Uh, one rabbit missing. The door was closed, but wasn't latched. There's a video of that. Go check that out. Kind of weird. But guess what? Guess what? I had another rabbit escape. This time, again, it was a uh, pre-weaned rabbit, just a little baby kit, um, probably a couple weeks away from weaning. Uh, jumped very similar before. I opened the door and they were right there. I, you know, I've got the, the feeder and the water right there on the door and one just jumped out and I couldn't catch it, ran off in the woods, searched and searched and searched, no luck. Well, guys, a week goes by. We've been looking for this little rabbit. It was black and white, a little black and white broken rabbit, broken meaning the, the color pattern on it. And we just, we just never saw it. We just never saw it in the woods, around the barn, around the pond, never saw it anywhere. And then one day I was at the barn farmhouse looking up at the ridge at the barn and I see a rabbit. But it wasn't a black and white broken rabbit. It was just a brown cottontail going across the ridge up by the barn. Then I looked closer and there was a little black and white speck behind it. So I grab my camera, I run outside, and this is what I find. Yeah, it was lost for, uh, gosh, how many days was it lost for? Five or six. Go put it back in with Mama. Yeah. Since Monday morning or Sunday morning. Yeah. 
the little feet. <laughs> saw it uh, from the farmhouse. Saw something uh, white run by, and there was a wild rabbit out there, a cottontail, and it was hanging with a cottontail. And then uh, the cottontail ran off, and then uh, me and Starla tracked it down. Back with your mama. I'm gonna do it on myself. <laughs> the little one. Time for you all to move up and upgrade to the, the big house, isn't it? Alright. She's back with me. He or she's back with me. Alright. Okay. She's like, give me some. I haven't ate eaten. I haven't had milk in days. See, normally they only feed. Uh, normally they only feed in the morning and the evening, but she hadn't. This one hadn't had milk in days, so it's ready. But it was close to being weaned aged. I mean, not close, but I mean close enough to where it was able to eat some stuff. But oh yeah, she's going right back at it. <laughs> These look so dirty because everyone walk around in their pee. <laughs> says mama won't feed me then i'll just <laughs> they're all coming over you hear the bee there's a bee over here visiting look at the gray one So yes, the baby bunny lived. Apparently that wild cottontail had adopted that not yet weaned baby kit, Texas A&M composite, had not, had not been weaned yet, had adopted it. I don't know, I, 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 it was running around with it apparently, you know, keeping it uh, safe. Um, the cottontail ran off, the composite, the little baby, went behind the particle board there, we captured it, put it back in with, with um, Peppa, and Peppa's been taking care of it. So now they're right at six weeks old, ready to wean. Now normally at three weeks, I bring them over uh, to the Taj Mahal, to the grow out hutch with Peppa. And then at six weeks, three weeks later, I, I, I remove her. I had grow outs a little bit longer this time. So they've been in with, with Peppa in her hutch and they are packed for space because they're six weeks and they're growing like crazy. So it is time to get them out and get her some peace, some quiet, let them enjoy their summer. The uh, breeding uh, rabbits, uh, we got Cupcake, we got Frosty, and we have Peppa. I'll show you them here shortly, but let's get the kits out over to the Taj Mahal of Grow Out Hutches. So we'll take each of the kits out one by one, let you see them, and move them here to the Grow Out Hutch. Now, hopefully between here and here, I don't lose any to the yard again. I'm going to do my best. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this side access. Again, this is the shelter area, you know, where they can get out of the elements. It is a two-story hutch. They got all kinds of room to run around and have fun. We'll have two waterings, actually three watering systems for them, and a huge uh, multi-pound feeder so they can uh, eat as much as they want. So let's go ahead and start moving them out. Start with the first one. Let's get a little broken one. Oh, here we go. Little broken one. Here we go. Oh, look at this one. So cute. So cute. All right, let's get the next one. We got a white one. Oh, little white one. Look at so cute. Big old red eyes. So cute. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Oh, we got the black one. We got the black one. His belly's so full. Look how big their ears are. These are Texas A&M. So cute. So cute bunnies. Let's get them in there. They're dig. They're checking out their new digs. We got another white one. Again, these are six weeks old. Aren't they, isn't that cute? All right. Come on in there, another white one. Got nine. Oh, look at the pink ears. Aren't those ears so cute? 
so cute all right come on here now we got another broken one here we go so look at his nose oh look at a big old black nose look at that isn't that so cute oh they're just loving their new digs already okay another fat bellied white one oh these things get so big so quick there we go they're still in here they haven't saw their new digs yet another broken one cute little split uh, mustache there we go got something on him there here we go oh and then the finally last but not least look at the gray and white broken one isn't that just gorgeous gray and white broken i don't know what the real names of the the colors are but uh it's just beautiful he's got gray eyes look at him sitting up like that isn't that cute he's a cute little bunny you cute little bunny to bite my nose oh cute little bunny all right let's get you in there and close them up and watch them get acclimated all right they are running around checking out the taj mahal here they are liking their digs oh look at all the bunnies they've got a big feeder in the back of water we got two more waters attached to the the front wall here but they are digging it, digging it, digging it, digging it. Let's get in here and look at them climbing around. What are y'all doing? Y'all liking it? Y'all liking it? Look at those ears. Look at those big old ears. Look at the little blackish brown one. Coat looks a little reddish brown with a light on. I got a little light on my camera here. And uh, just gorgeous. Oh, they found the food. A little gray one. Gray and white. Got a little bit of brown in it. I have no idea what the colors are called, but they sure are pretty. Oh, look at the one with the little split mustache face. Oh, find your sticks. You find your sticks? Yeah. Good job, guys. Good job. Well, the kits are doing great in their grow out hutch. They're exploring and they're gonna enjoy their next uh, six to uh, eight weeks there in that grow out hutch. Let's go ahead and take a look at the breeding pairs we have. And I'll start with Peppa. This would be the uh, doe, the mom of all these um, kits we just brought over. She's a big old, big old girl. Let's see how big she is. Oh, she's so big, look at her. And uh, she's kind of a little, little bit yellow right now. And the reason that is, 
When you got nine kits in you with you in that little bitty spot, you may get peed on a little bit. So she's a little bit yellow because of that, but she is going to love being alone for a while. After uh, six weeks with those guys in that little space, she's gonna be happy. So let's move on. Let you check out Frosty. Frosty again is the buck. He's a Texas A&M. He's white, New Zealand style white. Let's get him. The, the bucks are smaller. Does are huge, bucks are smaller. Look at his ears, and he's so cute. He is white. Got the uh, albino New Zealand eyes. Oh, he just loves that, look at that. Look at his ears come up. Oh, he's like, oh yes, yes. Well, we'll give you, oh. Hey, you just see his leg twitch? He's like, come on, do it again, do it again. Oh, right there. Oh, 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 right there. You like that? We'll give you some love and time with the girls here a little bit towards the end of the summer, okay, buddy? It's too hot right now for them girls to have some babies running around and being pregnant during the summer heat here in West Tennessee. So <laughs> look at his leg twitching again. All right, let's go get you back up. And now let's check out Cupcake. Cupcake is our, I call her brown or chocolate. She is beautiful. She is huge. She, oh man, she is huge, huge, huge. Take a look at her. Oh. Big old girl, big old girl, but look at those doe eyes. Oh, she's, she's scared. Look at her ears down, she's scared. Look at those big brown eyes. She is beautiful though. She's a beautiful, again, Texas A&M composite and uh, so soft. And uh, they have thinner, thinner fur um, than a lot of rabbits, uh, meat rabbits, uh, just to help them stay cool during uh, climates like ours here in West Tennessee. So um, we are so excited to have these meat rabbits. They're all doing great. Uh, thanks to uh, Doug and Shelly Cave at His Way Homestead and uh, Healthy Homestead Chick. That's who, we, they're the breeders of our Texas A&M. That's who we got them from. They're in North Mississippi. Again, that's uh, His Way Homestead and Healthy Homestead Chick. So thank you all very much for our rabbits. We're enjoying them and we've sell a few of them too. So if you're interested in one in your local West Tennessee area, let me know. But I hope you enjoyed our story today of our wild rabbit story with the baby kit being taken care of by the cottontail, getting found again by us, brought back, raising up, weaned finally, and now moving over to the grow out hutch. So I hope if you, if you haven't subscribed to Ridge Life, I'd like you to take the time now to do that. Subscribe to Ridge Life, hit the notification bell to be notified anytime a new video comes out. If you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day and go Ridge Life. You're so cute. Why are your eyes so big, huh? Why are your eyes so big? You're, look at your belly. Oh, 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 oh. Very sharp nails. Very sharp nails. Oh!